have, hallelujah, <clears throat> feet to walk with and everything. God, I thank you for doing just everything that you need to do in all of our lives. God, I thank you for being almighty, all powerful, hallelujah, all knowing yes, God, yes, hallelujah, Lord. the prince of peace, hallelujah, the joy of joy. Glory you are everything, God. God. We give you our minds, God, on hallelujah. today. God, hallelujah. that you bless us, God, that you change us on today, God, that you make us, hallelujah, that you call us to be whatever it is that you want us to be on today, Lord. Like never before, God, let your presence reign in this place. God, I ask that you touch everybody from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord. Change us, Lord, that we will walk with you like never before. God, you're so good. Hallelujah. God, we give you all the honor and all the praise, God, because we know, hallelujah, that everything is all right. Hallelujah. With your glory, with your grace and mercy. Hallelujah. God, I ask that you touch us all, God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, that we will walk with you, God. Hallelujah that we won't do it, hallelujah, the way we want to do it, but that your will will be done in our life, God. Change us, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Lord, we can't do it without you. We need your power, God. Hallelujah. We need your consuming fire raining on us, God. We need you to, hallelujah, change us up, God. Make us whole again, God. Hallelujah. We need you to go to, to the old landmark, hallelujah. Do the things that we used to do, hallelujah, when we once were saved. Walking with your peace and your glory, God, we love you, God. Hallelujah. 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 God, I ask that you bless all the pastors. Hallelujah, Pastor Emery. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Pastor, um, <clears throat> our regular pastor, Pastor Carnell, and his wife. Lord, I thank you for doing everything that you're doing in all of our life, even all of the ministers. Bless all of them. God, that we will walk with you, God, hallelujah, in all that we do, God. It won't be about us, Lord. Hallelujah. Let this be about you, Jesus. Woo! Woo, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Walk with us, Lord. Talk with us. Tell us that you are friend, God, whatever it is on today, Lord. Do it with your grace and mercy. Do it with your power. <laughs> we need you, God, hallelujah, in our homes, God. When we want to give up at certain times, we know, hallelujah, that you're going to always make a way. Hallelujah. It don't make a difference, y'all, what the situation look like. Whatever you may be going through at home, God is with you. Hallelujah. He is your peace. He is your joy. He will make a way for you. He will touch you. Hallelujah. He will make you whole again. He will do just what he needs to do, Lord. So we thank you for doing it God hallelujah we thank you for healing us in our minds it's mainly in our minds heal our minds God heal our thoughts that we will be in a place with you like never before Lord we need you in the mighty name of Jesus I pray glory to your name Jesus amen hallelujah Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord God Almighty. Amen. I want to do an old song today. Glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my burdens down. Glory, glory, Hallelujah, since I lay my burden down. Friends don't treat me like they used to. Since I lay my burden down. Friends don't treat me like they used to. Since I lay my Burdens, da burdens down, Lord. Burdens down, Lord. Since I laid my burdens down. Burdens down, Lord. Burdens down, Lord. Since I laid my burdens. Down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens down, glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burdens, glory, glory, 
Hallelujah. Since I laid my burden down. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I laid my burden down. Friends don't treat me like they used to. Since I laid my burden down. Friends don't treat me like they used to. Since I laid my burden down, burdens down, Lord, burden down, Lord. Since I laid my burden down, burden down, Lord, burden down, Lord. Since I laid my burden down, glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burden down, glory, glory, hallelujah. Since I laid my burden down. Come on, praise the Lord in here today. If the Lord's been good to you and you laid your burdens down, you ought to praise him in this room today. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. And there is liberty in the house today. Hallelujah. Got just what I needed from the Lord. Got just what I needed from the Lord. Got just what I needed. Got just what I needed. I got just what I needed from the Lord. Peace I got from the Lord. Peace I got from the Lord. Hey, peace I got. Peace I got. Peace I got from the Lord. Joy I got from the Lord. Joy I got from the Lord. Joy I got, joy I got, joy I got from the Lord. Healing, healing I got from the Lord. Healing I got from the Lord. Healing I got, healing I got, healing I got from the Lord. Get back train and get your load. Get back train and get your load. Get back train. Get back train. Get back train. Get your load. Back back train and get your load. Back back train and get your load. Back back train, back back train, back back train and get your load. I'm going I got home. my ticket in my hand. Got my ticket in my hand. Got my ticket, got my ticket, got my ticket in my head. So I'm going home on the morning train. I'm going home on the morning train. I'm going home, yes, I'm going home. You know that I'm going home on the morning train. And I'm going home. 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 One of these old morning. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. You wanna look for me? I'm going home. And I'll be gone. I'm going home. I'm going up to see Jesus. I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm going home. Going up to see Jesus. I'm going home. I got my crown. I'm going home. I'm going. Home. I'm going 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 home. Well, get right, church, and let's go home. Oh, 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 oh. 
Get right, church. Let's go home. Get right, church. Get right, church. Get right, church. One more time. Get right, church. Get right, church. Let's go home. Get right, church. Let's go home. Get right, church. Get right, church. Get right, church, and let's go home. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, I don't know about you. I feel good right now. Because I know God is doing something right now in this place. He's trying to stir us up with the fire of the Holy Ghost. You got the Holy Ghost. You don't mind praising him. It may not be a lot of people. It don't care because all it takes is one or two to praise him. He said his presence is well, in the midst. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, praise him. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Been so good. Changed my life. Saved my soul. Made me whole. We praise you, Lord. 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 Somebody needs you in a hospital room. Somebody needs you on a bed of affliction. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. You're worthy. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just felt the Holy Ghost to go way back with the Psalms today. <laughs> I love when God do that. It just stirs us up to remind us of the old landmark. I remember the Psalms said, take me back to the old landmark. And sometimes you just got to reflect backwards where you come from and tell God, thank you. Because you brought me this far by faith. I still want to bless yeah. your name. I want to praise you, God, because you're worthy of the glory. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Master, if you're staying all over the room, glory to God. We're going to have our scripture. Have our scripture this morning by Pastor Denise Cole. Amen. God is in the, moving in this place. He's moving by his spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. He's up there too. Hallelujah. Praise scripture. God. The scripture. To God be the glory. Can you hear me, church? Praise him. Turn the word of the Lord came and said unto us, Mark 11th chapter. 22 through 26. Thank you, God. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I would say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Hallelujah. How many of you got mountains today? Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe 
that those things which he said it shall come to pass. He shall have whatever he said he will. Therefore, I would say unto you, whatsoever things ye desire, when you pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen? And, ha and when ye stand praying, forgive. We don't want to forget that. If ye have aught against any that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Amen. God is speaking. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father who is in heaven forgive you your trespasses. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Praise God. Be blessed. Receive in your heart and let us continue to fellowship in the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> praise him, praise him, praise him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, well, we're going to do another song. Praise the Lord. <laughs> then after this song, we'll do the offering. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, thank you, Father. We bless you. Come on, just worship God this morning. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. You know, this, this week has really been a wonderful week. You know, God has really been leading me in his peace this week. On the radio station, we were talking about uh, about they left from among us, and 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 that's a really wonderful thing to understand because many people who start out with Christ. I remember Paul wrote in one of the passage scriptures. I think it's Romans chapter chapter seven. I think it is seven or eight. He says, "You started well, but what hindered you from obeying the truth?" You got a lot of people in today's time, they, they abandon their faith in God, you know. And I had to think about it. I said, because the Lord says, those who you have in his hands, no man can pluck you out. But you got people who confess to be a child of God, look like a child of God. They look holy. They look righteous. They sound good. They, they know how to say the slogans and the scriptures very well. And the word tells us Satan knows the scriptures. Jesus made it clear in John 10 that you have sheep, I mean, wolves in sheep clothing. And they're coming to the house of God every week after week with an MO from the enemy to assassinate somebody in the house of God. But when you know that you've been anchored in Christ Jesus, it doesn't matter what people do, what they try to say about you. They might backstab you. They may scar your name and all kind of things they would do, malicious acts to try to hurt you. But I found out the key is when we in Christ Jesus, the word tells me that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Well, you know his name alone is that powerful. He's a tower. You know what a tower is? It's a fortress. It's a place of protection. And he promises to surround you. He said, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. So whenever I find myself in a situation, I can run to the Lord Jesus Christ and find my, my refuge and strength in his presence. Amen. Glory to God and praise the Lord God Almighty. There is none like you, no one else can search my heart like you do, 
I can search throughout eternity long and find there is none like you. If you know it, sing it with me. There is none like you. No one can touch my heart like you do. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search throughout eternity long. I can search throughout eternity long and find there is none like you. Hallelujah. There is none like you, oh Jesus. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search throughout eternity long and find there is none like you. There is none like you. You believe that today? No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search throughout eternity long and find there is none, 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 there is none like you. Lord, we thank you. That there's no one like you, God. In all the earth, we can search eternity long and we'll find that there's no one like our God. No one can heal. No one can deliver. No one can lead you into victory like our God can through Jesus Christ. But God, we praise you. We worship you, Lord. We give you glory. Your mercy, Lord, is new every morning. Your mercy, Lord, it reaches to the heavens. Your mercy, Lord, it fills my life with joy. Because there is none, there is none, there is none, there is none. There is none, there is none. Oh, there is none, there is none, there is none like you. And I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord. Praises to your name. Oh Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. And I give glory to your name. Oh, Lord, glory to your name. Oh, Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. And I give worship to your name. Oh, Lord, 
worship to your name oh lord for your name is great and greatly to be praised and i sing praises to your name oh lord praises to your name oh lord for your name is great and greatly to be praised for your name for your name for your name is great and greatly to be your name is great in all the earth and the heavens for your name is great and greatly to be praised amen amen come on and praise the lord come on and praise the lord see if you tried the lord for yourself you'll find out his name is great that every time I call on Jesus demons tremble at the name every time I call on Jesus the enemy has to flee when I call on Jesus healing manifests when I call on the name of Jesus, my mind is renewed and my heart is changed. When I call on Jesus, see, I'm trying to quit with anointing in the atmosphere. When I call on Jesus, miracles take place in the room. When I call on Jesus, your situation has to cease when I call on Jesus things have to turn around when I call on Jesus he performed miracles he performed miracles when I call on Jesus when I call on Jesus He'll rock in the bosom of his arms. He'll speak words of life in your ear. Let you know everything is all right. It's 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 all right. When I call on Jesus, everything is all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh Lord, we give you glory. We give you praise. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, you worship him, worship him, worship him. If you know how to speak in the spirit, begin to begin to travail, travail, travail. Oh, Yes, God. Come on, travail for your children. Travail for your marriage. Travail for your church. Travail for your family. Oh, shine on our save. Oh, God, oh, God, we're calling on you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, shine on our senior save. Yeah, now, Baba, Baba, so. 
Somebody's on life support right now. A friend of mine. And I'm believing in you, God, for a miracle. Oh, God, you're the giver of life, oh, God. You're in control, God. Oh, God. I call in name right now, God, who's on life support. Touched by your spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. And her mother, God, in the hospital. Touch God. Right now, God. Even the baby, Treshawn, Father, God, diagnosed with leukemia, God. Touch right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, shout out about safe. Healing, healing, healing. Manifest, God. Let your power fall, God. When your name is called. Heal, God, right now. Right now. Heal, God, right now. Somebody needs healing right now, God. Oh, God, oh, God. Have your way, have your way. Have your way in Willie's life, God. Have your way, God. Strengthen him, God. Strengthen our brother, God, and his wife, oh, God. Continue to strengthen, God, right now by your spirit, God. In Jesus' name, oh, God. I know it's hard. God says, I know it's tough. I know you've been going through, but I'm bringing you out, says the Lord. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, shout out on my seat. Mmm. Yeah, God, I'm going to do my seat. Yeah, God, I'm going to do my seat. I'm going to do my seat. I hear in the spirit, there's an attack on marriages right now. Even on my prayer line this morning, it came up in conversation. The enemy's trying to divide marriages because he knows there's power in togetherness against his kingdom. There's an anointing on marriages when you're in the house of God. And God is saying right now, I'm releasing a fresh anointing. Prophet April, a fresh anointing. So I'm shifting things. Sister Davis and Wendy, I'm shifting things in your life because of a fresh anointing. God says, I'm releasing the power of the Spirit of God right now upon your lives. Everybody in this room, everybody going through something. God says, if you worship me, you will see the victory. You will feel the victory. You will know that I am victorious in Christ Jesus. If you worship him, God says I'm shaking the atmosphere right now in this room. Because we're interceding if we have our families. My dad under attack. My family under attack. But the devil is a liar. Because we have the great I am in our lives who's standing in our midst to reconcile, bring things together that's been crooked and divided, says the Spirit of God. God says, I'm building the foundation upon worship in this place. There's a spirit of worship in here today. And if you worship him, what you've been crying out for, what you're believing God for, Pastor Denise, Deborah, God bless, whatever it is you're believing God for, Pastor Terry and Jesse, we continue to lift up our pastor and his wife, his family. Cause there's an attack on everybody right now. But we have the King of Glory who already defeated the enemy. He's not trying to do anything. He already done, done it, says the Lord. If you believe it, if you trust God, you would know it's in yourself. It's done. It's done, says the Lord. It's done. Reconciliation is done. Healing is done. God says it's done right now by faith. 
in the name of Jesus. Well, Father, I thank you for every family member in this place, oh God, that's representing a household that you, God, will manifest your power in their homes, oh God. We bind the demonic forces, every attack, every assault, every violation of the enemy. We cancel those assignments right now. Traveling grace for our pastor and his family. Traveling grace, oh God. Release it, God. Cover them, God, with the blood of Jesus. Every family member, God, moved by your spirit in their hearts right now, God, to make them the edifice that you're building, God, in a place of worship. Minister Joe, God, Minister Eric, God, Touch their bodies, their minds, and their spirits, God. Bring them back to you, God, in a strong way. They are men of valor. They are men of praise. They are men of worship. They are your anointed vessels, God. We cover them now in Jesus' name. That you will be glorified to every person missing in this room, God. Cover them now, God, in Jesus' name that you will be glorified in all of our lives. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's prepare our hearts for giving. Got a special prayer request right now for Fanny Howard. Sister T just told me that the family was impacted with gun violence. The son was shot, was in an accident as well. So, Father, don't just stand with me all over the room, if you will, just stand. We're going to believe God for healing, for a sound mind, deliverance even reconciliation so father in the name of Jesus we lift up Fanny Howard's son God you knew this situation before it even impacted his life oh God we pray oh God that you remove the spirit of vengeance from his mind oh God remove it now God let his heart find refuge in your presence that you would be glorified. Even healing God. You save this life, oh God. That he would be a testimony. Draw him now, God. By your spirit. And the person that caused this harm, oh God. Bring them to justice, God. Because you're able to do it, God. And you're able to deliver. And we thank you. It is so in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pray your hearts for giving. Everybody got their seed offering. Oh, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. Oh, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Have your way, have your way. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you Lord.
Why don't you stand, please? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Why don't you stretch your hand towards the basket? Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you right now, Father, for the gift and the giver. We pray for those who had not to give, oh God, you bless them too as well, oh God. We thank you as we respond to your word, Father, to give. It will come back to good measures, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men give it to our bosom. And we thank you, oh God, if we walk by faith and not by sight, we will see miracles, signs, and wonders manifest in our lives, even in our giving, God. And we thank you, in Jesus' name, debts are being canceled, bill paid in full, that we live in the overflow. We thank you for it, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Remain standing for our declaration that we do each Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah. And find your place on a wall or a door or something in this room. Hallelujah. I want you to repeat after me. Lord, enlarge my territory. Lord, Enlarge my territory. Come on, let's get a little radical with it. Lord, enlarge my territory. One more time. Lord, enlarge my territory. Got one question to ask you. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Now time for our announcements. Good morning, Redeemed Faith. God is good. All the time, all the time, all the time. Um, I don't have a whole lot of announcements today, but I do want to say that um, for those of you who are going through, which is me too, so those of you who are going through, we go through it for a reason. Remember when you're going through that the battle is already won. The victory is already done. Satan has already been defeated. So if we can just make it through the night, we know that there's always going to be victory on the other side. And when he takes you through, it's to help you grow. It's to take you to the next level. Just because you're going through don't mean that you're going to stay there. Now, if you choose to stay there and wallow in it, that's on you. But that's not what it's meant for. It's meant to carry you to the next level. And always remember that when God gets ready to elevate you, there got to be some tests and trials. There has to be. Because how he know if you're worthy or if you're ready to carry it on? You know what I'm saying? So no matter what, you know, the Satan might be asking them, God, can I... Can I try this person? Or can I try that person? And God would allow him to try you because God know the stock that you're made from. He know that you're his child. Just, just keep a firm mind and believe that just because I'm going through is not the end. And if it do become the end, it's because God is ready for you to come home with him. So just keep, just keep pressing through. Keep pressing too. It's okay to cry overnight. It's okay to cry for a minute. It's okay to, but the, you know, I noticed that when I go through, the closer I get to God, because God will sometimes remove friends and family out your way so that you can't even contact them. And you'll be mad at those friends and family because when I needed you, you wasn't there. But they weren't meant to be there. It was meant for you to go and depend solely on God for that moment. Amen. So let's just pray for one another, you know, because when we're getting ready to be blessed, and Satan don't like that. That's right. He don't like that. That's why all the, all the, all the things are going, that's why everybody's going through, because Satan don't like that, because he, he can see our blessing. 
He don't know the magnitude of our blessing, but he knows something coming because he probably can feel it. Because one thing Pastor Emory says, I know that um, the enemy know the word. He knows the word. He can come back to you with that word, and he'll be like, man, that's what God meant. He finna bless all of them. Let me get in the mix. Because he knows the battle is wrong. He knows he can't have you. He knows he can't have you, though. But anyway, let me get back on task. The announcements. Um, it, I, it's the end of the school year, right? So I'll be looking at report cards once I get that last report card to determine who's going to get the PlayStation or, or Consolation. Also, if we have any graduating um, students, please let us let us know. Let me know as soon as possible. Um, if there's somebody not here, because I know a lot of our youth is not here. If anybody graduating from kindergarten to twelfth grade, let me know as soon as possible, okay? So I can get to work on that. There's no Bible challenge for this month, but we will let you know what it is come. Um, June 1st, amen? Well, the beginning of June. Um, on Sunday, um, May 26th, is Memorial Day service. I do have some names. If anyone have lost loved ones in, within this past year, please give me their names so we can celebrate their life as well on um, Sunday the 26th, amen? Are there any um, announcements for SWAT? I did just want to say, um, yesterday we had an amazing SWAT. So I want to thank God for all the ladies that were able to attend. And then we want to keep in prayer those that were not able to attend. So we're praying. We're keeping all of the ladies lifted up in prayer because we know sometimes things happen. And we want you to know that we're covering you ladies that have that may not be able to make it. But we are enjoying this thing. And I would encourage any women that have not came, come one time. Just come to one meeting and see what God does. God is doing some amazing things in this ministry, and we want to keep Pastor Terry lifted up in prayer and all of those that are sick. Um, and also, if you have not paid your dues for this month, please do that. And then we know next month is coming up, so we want to keep that in mind. And the meeting for next month is going to be the third Wednesday, right? The third Wednesday. But I will... Um, post the exact times and dates in our uh, SWAT messenger chat. All right. God bless you. Amen. Pastor Emery, is there a luncheon coming up for the men? No. Oh, okay. So um, also, um, everybody, let's continue to do our part in helping out with the project. The project, um, yeah, it's not up there now, but the project is for us to rebuild. And it's going to happen. And it's just a matter of us being patient and working hard, working diligently. And these are your announcements. Please govern yourself according. Oh, I'm sorry. These are not our announcements. Anybody, any more announcements, please let me know now. I wanted to also say on yesterday, um, Pastor Charles, the Bible said give honor to whom honor is due. So Pastor Charles was able to get the facility for us on yesterday, and he ran and worked and ran and worked for the ladies. And we appreciate you, Pastor Charles. We want to say thank you from SWAT to you. We really appreciate you and thank you for allowing God to use you to bless us on yesterday. Amen. You're welcome. Do we have any guests today? If so, would you please stand? Amen. We want to thank you all for coming and celebrating Christ with us and worshiping in service. And feel free to praise God any way you see fit. And you're welcome to come back at any time. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. These are your announcements. Please govern yourself accordingly. still morning good morning church um, you know Sandra kind of took everything I was going to say 
away, you know, but she said it, but I've been going through a lot. I've been feeling drained and exhausted, but the devil is trying to just make me feel like, just go lay down somewhere. Just go sit in the corner. Don't talk to nobody. Don't, 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 um, do what you do. Don't serve the people. Don't, don't do the pantry. Don't cook. You know, don't go to church. But through it all, every message I get in the morning from God is strength. Every, every uh, scripture I get in the Bible is about strength. It's about being kind. It's about taking care of yourself, taking care of others. You know, you guys, as you know, I was in the car accident on my mom's birthday. And I'm like, Lord, is this really happening? You know, and I just felt overwhelmed. I felt, you know, I felt like I was being attacked. So, you know, I'm like, without a car again, I just bought the car. Everybody know I just got the little van a month and a half ago. But God allowed me to, like Sandra said, I'm going through, but I'm still praising. I'm going through, but I'm still saying, God, what, what is it? See, because I know when God get through with me on the outside of this, he's got a blessing for me. The change is baking inside of me and within me. I don't know if you can see the change, but I feel the change. It's a fight. It's a battle. You know, but I got to just stand still and know that I am God. You know, and, and, and it's, it's amazing. It amazes me when I wake up in the morning. You know, people say, oh, thank you, God, for this. But I'm thanking God for every day that he allowed me to open my eyes and wake up and move and be able to pray for somebody and pray for, and pray for myself to keep myself going. You know, my husband is here today. I'm so excited about that. You guys, shout. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. You know, when he told me, he told me last night, he said, I'm going to church tomorrow. He said every every Saturday. And I was like, okay. When I woke up, he was dressed, shaved, and everything. I said, look at God. I went to the bathroom, came back, he had his shoes and clothes on. I said, oh, my God. Okay, then, let's get ready. Right, right. He ain't playing with me. But God is good, and I love you. And you just keep up the faith and keep being strong. Keep pushing your way. And I'm going to be right behind you in this walk. I got you. God got us. He's given us the strength to endure things that we have never endured before. See things I've never seen before. But God is, is good, guys. And I just want to say, keep praying for me. And I'm going to keep praying for you. Amen. Oh, one more thing. I can't t talk about my goodness. I, s I was able to get a new car on Saturday. On Saturday. And I feel like I don't deserve it, but God say I'm worth it. Amen. 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 Come on, give God a hand. Pray for that testimony. Power I got it. Powerful. Powerful. Amen. I'm asking uh, Brother Cornell to come do a solo this morning. I'm getting tired, y'all. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Same for Jesus. I learned how to live holy. I learned how to live righteous. I learned, I learned, I learned how to suffer. But if I, I suffer, I will gain. Eternal life. I learned, I learned, I learned, I learned how to live holy. I learned 
how to live right I learned I learned I learned how to suffer but if I I suffer but if I I suffer I will gain eternal life but when I I see Jesus but when I I see Jesus the man who hugged and died for me but when I I see Jesus hey amen but when I see Jesus but when I see Jesus, hey, hey man, all of my eye burden, there will be no more crying. But all of my eye burden, through all my trials and tribulation, but all of my eye burden, when my mama was nowhere to be found, but all of my eye burden, will be over but when i i see jesus but when i i see jesus hey hey man but when i see jesus but when i see jesus hey hey man all of my eye burden all of my eye burden there will be no more crying but all of my eye burden my pillow was wet with tears but all of my eye burden will be over but when I, I see Jesus, hey, hey amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. I want to do something today a little different. We got a little extra time, so... And when, uh, anyone want to share a testimony at this time? We're going to open the floor up for testimonies. I know everybody got testimony now. <laughs> Amen. She going around? Okay. Amen. The Lord was telling me that this is a season of takeoff. Hallelujah. You understand what I'm saying? I was praying the other day and I was, uh, the Lord woke me up. I was, it was probably about three in the morning. And the Lord told me, this is a season of takeoff. And it's, it's something, because in the dream, he told me, I was like on an airplane, but I didn't know I was on an airplane, but I did. But he was like, it's your takeoff season. So basically, he wants you to line up with his word. He wants you to get in the word. Uh, everybody get in the word. Seek his face like never before because it is so much going on in the land but we have to be in that place with him in alignment with him and he was saying when you be in alignment with me when things come your way you can just stand still and know that I am God hallelujah I am the way maker hallelujah I'm the mighty strong tower I'm the peace that resides on the inside of me so I don't need nothing because God got what I need <clears throat> so in this dream God told me he said I want you to know that you have to begin to surrender your all to me. You have to give me your mind, give me your heart, your soul. I mean, I'm talking about it for real. I'm talking about having that relationship with him. Getting in your word and seeking in your face, seeking his face, I'm sorry. And just land before the king. He said, it's that time because there's so much going on in the land, y'all. Every day you see something like the three-year-old got shot. That's so sad. My goodness, that hurt my heart. I don't know who child it was, but he got shot two times at home y'all and they don't even know who shot him it's shot through the house so god is so good y'all but he said it's a season of take off but we have to be in that place with him to hear his voice so it's time to surrender your all to him 
It's time to surrender your mind, hallelujah, your soul. Whatever it is that you want in this season, God said don't even worry about getting whatever it is. Just trust in me. Get in your word and I will make a way for you. I will show you the way. I will show you what to do. I will show you how Baba Sandu, that I am the way, the truth, and the light, and I got just what you need. But surrender. You have to be in a season of surrender. Surrender, hallelujah, your situation to me. Surrender your mind. Surrender your thoughts. Whatever it is, hallelujah. That's what he was saying, surrender. And I was just like, Lord, I'm like, why you wake me up in the middle of the night? But he will for a reason. Because he just wants us to know that we don't have to worry about nothing. It's already done. Bills will get paid. Whatever it is that you need, it will get done. But you just have to give it all to him. You have to give up all the following him. Hallelujah. You have to give up your situations. All the things that you want to do is all about him. It's about Jesus and what he wants you to do. Okay. So give, give him your heart. Give him your mind. Just give him everything. Hallelujah. Don't make a difference what it is. And I know, I mean, I just want to just, I love this part because it's, it's like a, all to Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. How did I son do what I saw you? Thank you, Lord. All to Jesus I surrender. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. I'm starting a little high, but let me just break it down to the way I like to start it. <clears throat> All to Jesus I surrender. All to him I freely give. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I will ever <clears throat> love and trust him in your presence daily live. That's it. <clears throat> I surrender Every situation, give it to him. So I surrender all. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All to thee, my blessed Savior. Thank you, Lord. I surrender. Oh, thank you, Lord. Every everything that I'm dealing with, Lord, I give it to you. I surrender all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I surrender all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. All to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. Thank you, Lord. I give it to you, Lord Jesus. I surrender all. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I surrender all. Thank you, Jesus. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Oh, Jesus. I surrender all. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You're so good. He's so amazing. He's almighty, y'all. He's all powerful. Ooh, so. He's everything. Hallelujah. We need. Oh, hallelujah. The begin. Hallelujah. The end. Hallelujah. He's everything, God. We give you our heart, God. We give you our mind, Lord. Hallelujah. It's all you, Jesus. I surrender all to you, Jesus. Woo. Oh, I surrender all to you. I don't see Jesus. Woo. 
I give it to you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> you know, hallelujah, every situation we may be going through, you, Lord, we give it to you right now. We give you our mind, God. We give you our heart, hallelujah, our soul, hallelujah, our beginning, our end, Lord. You are everything, hallelujah. Everything is you, Jesus. Oh, Baba Saya. He's so worthy to be praised, huh, Baba Saya. He's so worthy to be lifted up, hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. You're more than enough, God. Hallelujah. He's so good, y'all. He's so almighty, all-powerful. Hallelujah. The beginning and the end. Hallelujah. He's more than enough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to, this young man right here. <clears throat> God is so awesome. Hallelujah. He wants to bless you in this season. Oh, Baba Saya. He's going to show you that he is the way, the truth, and the light. He is the redeemer that resides on the inside of you. Hallelujah. You have power. You've been going through a whole lot of, like, mental things. But God wants you to know that I will bring you through it. Hallelujah. Every situation. I am the truth. I am the light. I am the redeemer. I got what you need. Surrender your all to me. Hallelujah. I don't know you, but the Lord told me to tell you that. Hallelujah. So keep trusting in his word and know that he is faithful. He will bring you through everything. Thank you, Father God. You're so good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Even my sister right here, Lord. <clears throat> What's her name? Uh, huh? Wait a minute. This is the T, Sister T. Yes. <laughs> I know. But, but God is so good. He said, keep trusting in me and know that I am faithful. Hallelujah. And that I will make a way for you. I will do all things. Hallelujah. For you. Hallelujah. Trust in my word. Hallelujah. Know that I am a loving God. Hallelujah. And that I will make a way for you. Keep believing that everything is done. It's already done. Don't even worry about what ain't done or how it's going. Trust in the word of God. God is going to make a way for you. Hallelujah. He's going to do great and mighty things in your life in this season. No, 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 no. Even um, Shade, God said, God is about, he can shando, God is going to give you a new anointing. He can He said, from on high, not that it hasn't been, but he's going to give you something great and mighty in this. He said, whatever house you want, I got your house. Go walk, go find your car. He said, believe that I am. Hallelujah. We'll make a way for you and do just what he said he's going to do. Keep trusting in his word and believing that he will make a way for you. He said, you give, hallelujah, you give, you pour. He said, you pour into so many people. You never want nothing in return, but God is going to give you something in return, he said, in this season. Keep trusting in, the, in his word and knowing that he is true and faithful. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, he ba even when you with your niece, <clears throat> keep anointing her legs. Get some anointing oil. I'm telling you, God is going to do something great. I already seen it. And I know he's faithful. Because that girl, got a, she got a powerful anointing on her life. She's going to be laying in the bed for too long because I know what God showed me. I'm telling you, I seen it. She's going to walk about that bed with God anointed because I know God is good. Woo! The fire of God is still on the inside. It don't make a difference. Whatever situation, keep annoying her. I'm telling you. She getting up out of the bed and I see it. God is so faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, how do you know? Thank you, Lord. But God is so good, y'all. Keep the faith and keep trusting in God and knowing that he is faithful. And that he can do all things. Hallelujah. But fail. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. We need to continue in this. Hey, God is good all the time. Amen. Woo, I just think I'm, see, I, I, I got to get up and walk because I've been in a place, y'all. Hallelujah. The place that I've been in, I was wearing a boot. <laughs> to God be the glory. First and foremost, I give honor to Pastor Anderson and wife who's not here. My church family, all the leaders are before me. Amen. I wanted to get excited, but God had to bring it back to order because there's order in God's house. So I honor him today, the man of God of this house. Amen. Praise him. I love him. To my pastor, Terry, in her absent, amen, as well. But I'm here today to give thanks to God because God has allowed me 
praise God, to get up and come out. And I'm telling you, when I'm at home, I'll be at home with the church. Amen. In the absence, I'm representing the church. Amen. The church of the living God. So I'm just thanking God for that opportunity. Deborah, my, Deborah was on one side of a boot. I was on the other. We had a full set of feet. <laughs> so <laughs> we were wearing boots. But, I mean, it was a thing. And it had, you know, God is so good at what he does. He knows what he's doing all the time. He's a God of all the time, any time. So we can call on him because what? His line is never busy, God. Amen. His line is never busy. But I thank him for what he's doing in each of our lives right now. Amen. He's doing a mighty and a great thing. Amen. Right now. See, we came in the door one way. We're leaving out another way. Amen. One level higher in the Lord. So I thank him today, and I thank him for this opportunity, Pastor Charles, for being able to testify of his goodness. See, I don't want to talk about me, but I want to talk about what he has done for me to allow me to be here. Because I know the shape that I was in. Amen. But see, it, it ain't nothing like loving Jesus. It ain't nothing to know him. It is nothing to know him, to know him, because there's a knowing that will come upon all of us, and that knowing comes from the Holy Ghost. So I just love the Lord today. Be encouraged, each of y'all. I love my church. <laughs> Woo, I love it. I love what God is doing here for each and every one of us. Amen. It's just a wonderful opportunity. This is my twin. She's reminding me of some things, but that's all right because God is in control. I love her. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. Thank everybody. I thank and praise God. Hey! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I'm so glad to be here. Y'all don't know I was at home, but I'm here now. And I'm going to praise and thank God for his glory. Well, hallelujah. Don't nobody know what I've been through, but I thank and praise God for God being God today for you, for you, for you, and for you. I thank and praise God. Praise God for what he's doing in my life right now, in your life, and in, in the, in the music, you know what I'm trying to say, the magicians. <laughs> Can't get it out, but it's all right. God is able to do all things but fail. But fail, but God, 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 hallelujah, but God, God has to do it, we can't do it, but God got it, and he gives it to us, and don't sit on it, that's all I got to say, I'm glad to be here, thank you Pastor Charles, love you all, anyone else got a testimony? out to God in my life. Pastor, First Lady, Assistant Pastor, my blessing is I am so proud of my children. My oldest granddaughter finna graduate from high school. My grandson finna graduate from eighth grade going to high school. And I just thank God. And my daughter, Vanita, is graduating too, Pastor Charles. Vanita's graduating. Would you believe that? I am so proud of my kids. And I know I feel good because I know what I accomplished and what I came through. And I'm so thankful that they gave me that blessing. That's all I wanted them to do. Was just walk across that stage and make me what happened. Mother and grandmother. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Good morning, Saints. How you guys doing? You know, I'm kind of happy today because God had been allowing me to go out to unfamiliar places. And for some reason, he allowed people in the homeless to come to me and help them out in all kind of situation they're going through because they don't know. But when I always be in the Bible, he always say, love one another in spite of. And sometimes we have to stop being around here but go out there. 
And my biggest dream that I want, I want to go out there one summer and just put a big table for they can watch the movie and everything. But the biggest thing that happened to me today when a friend I met, Miss Tamika and her friend from unfamiliar, unfamiliar places, that she asked me to come to church. And when God allow you, when God allow you to go out there and teach among his people, he also allowed to bring them here. So you all keep praying for me, because that's what I like. I like going outside. And here it's cool, you know what I mean? To get the word, to get the fulfillment, to get my joy. But when I go out there and talk to the people and know the hurting they is feeling, to know how they is going through, that they have all kind of trial, they are going through therapy, they need help. Instead of being here, I'd be out there. If they come to me, they draw to me, they won't help, you know what I mean? They need somebody just to tell them how to go here, or they just need somebody to talk to or they need somebody to sit to the emergency room. I did that plenty of time. I went to the emergency room, and my husband was upset, but to feel the need of them because they didn't have nobody else. You know what I mean? And that's what I do out there. So you all keep praying for me. For whatever God do for me, I can do for them. Because to me, I don't want nothing. I just want their joy. I want their happiness. You know what I mean? I want them to get to the place that when they can get out and get away from the system, they could be their own. Because I want all the people I teach to make sure they get their own business, make sure they look for a job, make sure the government is getting the right way. Even I have to go to court for them. I do that too. So I'm just telling you, some days, if you are not busy, my phone number is in, under them. Call me and meet me down there because you never know what you would get from them. Okay, thank you. I just want to give this quick testimony. God is a provider. He is a protector. God is a way maker. The Bible says that we overcome by the word of the lamb and the word of our testimony. A couple days ago, I was driving down the street. Had to be about maybe 3 o'clock in the morning. I was getting off of work, and I was headed home. And I was driving pretty slow, and I'm guessing that's the only thing that incited what happened but I was driving and I was by myself I didn't see any vehicles around me or anything but all of a sudden a car come behind me and and they were like right on my tail so I'm like what's going on you need to get around or what, what what's going on so the car we had cones in the street you know it's construction all over Milwaukee so the cones was in the middle of the street and so the car come on this side where the traffic is supposed to be coming this way and I'm going this way so he come on this side riding right with me so I'm thinking okay you want to go around going around I slowed down a little bit more like I'm gonna let you go and so he he looked and he pointed his hand at me and so I didn't know I'm looking like what's what's wrong what's going on the man had a gun in his hand and so i guess he i guess he feel like maybe she don't understand what um what this is so he let his window down so when he let the window down i saw the gun and he was like and I, so i'm looking at him like what, what's your problem you know and so i thank god for the protection hallelujah because somebody got shot somebody didn't make it out of an experience like that and we're dealing with people in road rage and you don't know why people are mad today and why they are angry and, and why they get so upset and hostile but every time God allows us to make it through something we ought to testify of his goodness we ought to tell somebody that I made it hallelujah the devil thought he had me he thought he did something but you can't fear what was going on in my mind the only thing I could think of is Lord I thank you for covering grace I thank God for his angels hallelujah see when we pray every morning I get up before I get in my car and I cover my vehicle I cover every person that gets in my vehicle and I pray Lord dispatch your angels keep me from danger seen and unseen and we don't know how God is going to do it but God will allow us to see that prayer works see when we pray don't dismiss prayer people of God because prayer works I'm standing here today because of prayer hallelujah and I just want to tell God thank you. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Because I could have been dead and everybody would have been trying to figure out, I wonder what happened. I could have been on the news. It could have been a report that a woman was shot in a car and left on the scene, at the scene at 3 o'clock in the morning. But God. But God. But God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is God is so good. He is so good. I just want to add because we don't talk much about our youth. You know, I know we do the Bible challenge and I know we you know give for the report cards and things of that nature. But I'm 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 gonna tell y'all a Niger story. Before we went looking for a car, I had a budget. Amando said, Auntie Sonia, have you thought about you uh, having a Niger fast so that God can bless you guys? I, I went to a Niger and I thank him for that. I went to a Niger, I said, Niger, we should, we should fast and pray and ask God for what we want. Because when you have a budget that's not real big, and you buy in the car, you allowed to get anything. But I'll tell you, God bless me with the vehicle for her for her birthday. That was affordable. Not only affordable, but it's a good car. It's a good car. And um, I'm like, I'm not looking for this car to last her a lifetime. I know my budget. I'm just looking forward to get her through until she get ready to go to college. And so. We fasted and we prayed for a week, and we asked God for whatever. I'm not even sure what all of Niger asked for. There's two things I know in particular, an internship and a car. But since he blessed her with the car, I'm going to tell you what he keep doing, what he keep doing. She came home one day, and she said, guess what? I said, what? I'm, the vice, I'm officially the vice president of the junior um, student council. Amen. That was one thing you said. What is it called? For your yeah, I mixed it up. I, I apologize. Let me get it right. But anyway, she got that. Then she came home another day and she said, um, what was the other thing, Elijah? Yep, she, she got inducted into the National Honor Society on this week. Amen. Then she said, then she came to me and said, well, when I was picking her up from school, she was like, guess what? I said, what? I'm student of the month. So we look up on the thing outside the school, and there her name is strolling around. And then this morning, she, when she got up, she said, guess what, Mommy? I said, well, she said, I got straight A's. Wow. One grade before exams was a B. And I just had to take no exams. One grade was a B, but it's, it's straight A's. Wow. And then, so we waiting on one more thing to happen. And when I tell you, young people, put your faith in God. Trust in him because all things are possible all things are possible and parents stand behind your children because not everybody's going to be happy for them when they succeed stand behind your children so that when they get the snares and the things like that you can uplift them but I'm, I'm, I'm such a proud mother right now because Anija went from being born prematurely one pound 12 ounces I almost lost her twice when she was a baby. She stopped breathing on me and turned purple. But God is good because right now she's 16 years old and God is working through her life. Amen. God is good, y'all. Amen. Praise the Lord for those testimonies. Beautiful. I knew that young lady going to be something great. I saw when I first met her, I, said, I saw greatness in the spirit on her. And I, I believe I told her that too when she was younger. 
God is doing something supernatural in this place, in all of our lives. And as we trust in his word, God is going to continue to do great things for us all. We just got to keep the faith, keep encouraging our children, keep doing the best they can. Because I tell you, they, they go a lot of challenges today, more than we have when we were coming up. There are a lot of, they're under more attacks. But and we do want to thank our guests for coming in too, in behalf of our pastor. He's not here today. He's on the road. We pray traveling grace for him today that God keep him. And for all of you who did come out today, God bless you double fold. May God bless you double fold for your act of obedience to follow the spirit of God to be in the house today. Amen. I'm going to go into Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews chapter 6. And something's ringing. Hold up one second. <laughs> Amen. I forgot to. Ah, that's good. We're fine. Amen. So if you will stand for the reading of the scripture, Hebrews chapter 6. I'm going to start at verse 4. Hebrews chapter 6. Verse 4. <clears throat> and for everyone, please stand. Who's able to stand? Amen. It says, For it is, for it is impossible for those who once were enlightened and have tasted the heavenly gift and have, been be have become partakers of the Holy Spirit. Verse 5, and have tasted the good word of God and the power of the age to come. Verse 6, if they fall away, to renew them again to repentance, since they crucify again for themselves the Son of God and put him to open shame. You may be seated. You may be seated. I was to have a subject, it would be, have you abandoned your faith? Have you abandoned your faith? We're living in a trial some time where all types of tragedies and things are in the land and situations are taking place in all of our lives. And there are many people who started the race with Christ and have abandoned their faith due to tragedies and situations that altered their mindset. Some got into deep depression. Some got into a place of affliction. And sometimes we don't realize we can afflict ourselves by the way we think. If my mind is stuck in a dark place, I will find myself drifting away from my faith and trusting God's word. So let's go into a word of prayer. For grace God, our Father, I thank you right now for this message, God. I pray that it would convict our hearts, change our lives, and make us better. That you will be glorified, O oh God. We thank you that you remove the business from the day from our minds, O oh God, that we have a clear conscience to hear from you by your spirit. That's, O oh God, that you would be glorified in this place, O oh God, and that you feed us like a shepherd feeds his flock. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. This is something I mentioned earlier we were talking about this week. It's concerning they left or went out from among us. And many encounters Jesus had conversations with the disciples but one particular encounter is John chapter 6 the latter part of that chapter he talked about unless you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood you have no part of me and from that moment many of his followers abandoned him and he looked to his core group the disciples and said will you two leave me and Peter said, Lord, where else shall we go? You have the words of life. We have forsaken all to follow thee. And I, on my prayer line this morning, the question crossed my mind. And I asked the man on the line, I said, what have you forsaken to follow Christ? Did you do like the disciple Peter said, we have forsaken all the folly? Have you really forsaken all? So we got into an engagement conversation regarding that, that matter. And one of the brothers says, well, well, we're supposed to practice righteousness every day. We're, we're not supposed to be sinning. We're, we're not supposed to do this, do that. I said, you're right. I said, however, in the spirit, 
we're perfect in Christ. But in our humanity, we're sinners. We're going to fall short of God's glory. So he began to argue with me regarding the, 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 the uh, question at hand. And I said, you know what? When you get a revelation of what Christ has done for you in his word, it's not going to get you to a place of condemnation. Because one thing about it, Pete, uh, Paul even made it clear. In Romans chapter 7, he says, evil is always present with me. And no matter where you go in life, you're going to always be encountering evil. Somebody's doing a malicious act of sin in this world, even against you, just because of who you are in Christ. You just gave a powerful testimony. Man pointing a gun at you, and you're just doing what you normally do, drive. People have all types of demonic encounters on their mindset, and it, it gives them a thought to do something wicked towards somebody else. And as I was pondering this conversation this week on our radio program, we, we had this subject. And it says, the person was, despite of all appearance, never truly a Christian. And what it, what it says is that most followers of Jesus have had a family member, a friend, or acquaintance who seemed to be a believer, but who later renounced Christ. Occasionally, a prominent Christian leader declares himself or herself to no longer be a Christian. I've seen this happen on television. Pastors decided not to follow Christ no more. I've seen on television where pastors came out and told that they're homosexual and they decided to marry a man. All these things are happening in the world today because of the end time. Christ is soon to come and we're faced with all types of persecution, all types of sinful acts in the world, and we have to have a personal conviction in our heart to follow Christ. And it says, so it says the person was, despite of all appearances, never truly, truly a Christian. And you, you can check yourself or wreck yourself. Because if you truly are a Christian, a born-again believer, you know in your heart that I'm born and saved, sanctified through the Holy Spirit. If you don't know that, then you never really were saved in the first place. Because if it's easy for you, like it says here, for it's impossible. No way we can get a person back who's been enlightened. That means you've been revealed by the word of God. You tasted the goodness of God. You saw who God is to you. And it says, who wants enlightened have tasted the heavenly gift. So what's the heavenly gift? The word of God. The Holy Spirit inside of you fed you and you got to the place in yourself where you felt like you know what my desires is better than following Jesus so my sinful ways I've been living before I call myself being a born again believer I really go full for a lot of people tell me all the time they, they say you know what I'm gonna go full force to hell <laughs> you know because they they made up their mind that this Jesus stuff ain't working I heard people say it so many times. I've been in ministry 39 years. And I heard people say this many, many times. I don't go to church because there's hypocrites in the church. What about you? <laughs> you know, you ain't no better. And then I tell them, I said, the house of God, it has a lot of hypocrites because that's when they come and get delivered. If you don't recognize the sin in your heart, how do you expect to be born again and delivered? The blood of Jesus cleansed us all from all sin. It didn't say, I'm going to take, oh, that little bit of sin over there, that little sin over there, I'm going to take that over there. No, he said all sin. All the inclusive word, that means everything in one package. And he did this. He took all our sins. So when I taste of the heavenly gift and become a partaker of the Holy Spirit, that means I'm connected. In Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. And then it says to have tasted the good word. Paul makes it clear, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for the power of God unto all men. To the Jews and the Gentiles to save us, right? So if the word of God has the power to save you, so you taste for that word, oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Why? Because I taste of the word and I found out the word does work. 
The word doesn't work if you don't believe in the word. And who's the word? Jesus. In the beginning was what? And the word was with what? That's it. So if you got a revelation that in the beginning, and I always think about Genesis chapter 1 where it says that God began to create everything in the world, the firmament, the fish and sea, the fowl, the air, the rivers, and, or the skies, and all these things, and create a garden. Guess who was there? Father, Son, Holy Ghost. And it says, the spirit of water hooved upon the face of the waters. So if the Holy Spirit was there, that's the same Holy Spirit that when man was created in the garden, God said, let us talk to himself. Let us, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, create man after our image and our likeness. And then he, he breathed in him the breath of life. And what? Man became a living soul. Because the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit breathed into them themselves. Ain't that something? That's a revelation God gave me. So when he breathed himself into man, said man became a living soul, right? So God said, you have the right, the authority over everything in the garden. Anthony, you have the right over everything in the garden. So if I give you, you take possession of it. But the enemy comes along and says, no, that ain't true. God gave you part authority. He don't want you to have the full authority because then you'll be like God. But if God says through Jesus Christ, Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions over all the powers of the enemy. He gave you the power that the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit had in themselves. That same authority. So I can speak to the elements. I can speak to the wind. What did Jesus do? He spoke to the wind and the sea said, peace be still. Because he believed in himself as the word incarnated in the flesh. So let's go a little further. So it says, and the power, it says, and the powers of the age to come. But then verse 3 is captivating because, listen to this here. So the person is struggling with the intense doubt or rebellion is still a Christian. Just because I struggle with doubt, I struggle with myself, does not make me less of a Christian. That shows I'm human. But we got folk in the church They'll look at you and say, uh, Prophet Abraham, I saw you cut somebody out the other day. And uh, you said you was a prophet. Uh, uh, Pastor Denise, uh, I saw you mean among somebody in the church because they didn't look the way you thought they should look. Mother Deanie, you know, your children, they don't love you like they say they do. So, so but you keep giving to them, you keep loving them, you keep caring for them, but they don't care about you. That's how they mean talk to us. He'll tell you things that sounds good to attack your flesh. If I can get the flesh altered in the mindset, then I can get you to this. Well, I'm trying to work. Hold the ghost. Help me, Jesus. Get you to not obey God. Because he knows if I can disrupt your order, I can stop you from walking in your purpose. But verse 3 says, if they fall away, to renew them again to repentance, since they crucify again for themselves the Son of God and put them to open shame. So what, what he's saying here is that a person who really not a follower of Christ and they fall away, you can't renew them again to repentance because their heart not there. And they show you with their actions. People say, you know what, I'm serving Jesus Christ and I'm living for God every day of my life. Actions speak louder than words. The person was a Christian but now has lost salvation. How can you lose salvation if you never paid for it? Think about it. For the grace of God, what did it do? For that grace that you saved through faith and all yourself is the gift of God, right? And the word says, not a works that any man should boast. For the grace of God appeared to all men, teaching us to deny all ungodliness and worldly lust, to live godly and sober before God and men. So in other words, that sound mind is the soberness. So I got to be sober in my mindset as well as in my spirit to know that I'm born again. So the grace of God, know I got a weakness. We make excuses for our weakness, but we confess 
our faults to one another, the word said we'll be healed. But the problem is we justify our own doings because we refuse to repent. So we crucify the Son of God afresh. You know what that means? You're telling God, I'm slapping your face. The blood of Jesus wasn't good enough. I, I don't need you. That's what you're telling God. He was like, I don't say that with, with my mind. I never said that. Your action says it. Because you refuse to obey and submit, you're rejecting him. You're turning from him. And that's what it says. You can't re renew them to repentance because their hearts ain't coming back. Listen to this. Making matters more difficult. It's a second Timothy, chapter 2, verse 12. Read this. This is an English Standard Version. It says, if we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. Did you hear that? You deny him, he denies you. Because he said, if you be ashamed before men, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. I said this one thing to someone yesterday. I said, you know what? Matter of fact, this morning, the guy on the prayer line. He says, everybody don't have the calling to witness. From. Jesus told his disciples, Matthew 28th chapter, latter part 1920, he told me to go out you know, and baptize men in the name of the Father and Holy Ghost, right? He sent them out because he knew that we have to witness. So I have to correct the brother. I hate correcting people sometimes because they get offended. But the Holy Ghost said, correct them anyway. I said, let me tell you something. You have a testimony. Your testimony is your story. If you never went through anything, you never have a testimony. Am I right? So I told him, I said, your testimony is your witness. You saying that we don't have a calling to witness. Everybody been called to witness by Jesus Christ because of your story. I may not be able to talk like Prophet April or Pastor Denise or Deborah. I can't talk like them, but I can talk the way God tell me to talk about my story. Brother Willie got a story. He can tell you about his story the way he knows about his story because he went through something and God's been there from the beginning to the end. But the problem is we come, become ashamed to tell our story. Glory to God. John chapter 10 verse 28 and 29. I give them eternal life. They will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. Isn't that good? That, that's shouting news. Because it doesn't matter what the world say, what people say. It's about my own connection and relationship with God. If I'm in his hands... Jesus said, I'm in his hands. Then I'm in the Father's hand. Can't nobody pull me out the Father's hand. Glory to God. I preach myself happy on that one. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Even Romans 8, 38 and 39. For I am sure neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor death, nor anything else in creation. It covers everything will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So I know it doesn't matter what you go through in this life, no matter how bad you mess up, it says nothing. Glory to God. Oh, shut up. Can't nothing pull you out the Father's head because you didn't put yourself there. He put you there. If God put you in his hand, oh, glory to God, the devil cannot Duke you out of your promise. Sure enough, we're going to fall. But we fall down, we get back up again. A righteous man falls seven times, but the Lord will raise him up again. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah.
They went out from among us, but they were not of us. Ain't that something? Jesus said that. They went out from among us, but they were not for us in the first place. I remember the story where Jesus was talking about Satan says the kingdom being divided. People were murmuring about Jesus, casting out devils, healing the sick. They said, this man got a devil. He says, any kingdom, oh, glory to God, divided against itself cannot stand. So if I cast out devils in the name of the devil, then that ain't going to work. But he says, but any strong man, if you overpower him, so first he says, the strong is at peace. And the good is at peace. But then he says, if you overpower the strong man, you can spoil his goods. Which is an indication, if I have the power at my disposal, I can speak to the word with the word of God to the enemy. You got to flee. Glory to God. Oh, my God. Praise his name. Glory to God. Glory to God. So this principle, though anyone who departs from the faith, anyone who departs from the faith is proclaiming a message that is not true, is in fact opposed to Christ. The essence of the term and to Christ. So if I reject and oppose Christ, he's saying you got the spirit and the Christ. Because the Antichrist, he says, was coming in 1 John chapter 1, but he says he's already here. For there are many Antichrists who have already gone out into the world. So you got to know for yourself that I've been born of God, washed in the blood of the Lamb, sanctified by the Holy Spirit, that I'm standing firm in the faith of Jesus Christ to not be shaken. I have an eternal security. They advertise all the time about life lock for your identity theft, right? So I was thinking about that. We talked about it on our radio before a few weeks ago about identity theft. And as I was pondering thought in my mind, Jesus said to me that we have an eternal life lock. So if I'm locked and secured in Jesus Christ, my identity cannot be breached. Just because the enemy will attack my marriage, attack my family, attack my children, God says, you can't allow the enemy to attack your identity. The reason why there's so many people who look like and mimic a child of God because they're not really serving God. So they take your identity to look like you want to look. But God says today, you got to know for yourself, oh faithless generation, you got to follow the Lord Jesus Christ in his word, stand fast in the faith of Jesus Christ, do not deny him, doesn't matter what goes on in your life, we must accept the fact that God knows our hearts, he knows the end and the beginning of your life. He knows what thoughts you think before you even think it. He knows the words going to come out of your mouth before you speak it. We got to know what God knows about us, that I am secured in Jesus Christ. I surrender all the sister just saying it. I surrender all to the I owe. Because I surrender to Jesus Christ. Everything in my life is about to change. Doesn't matter what attacks me, though you slay me, yet will I trust in him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All of our observations are based on incomplete information. Because sometimes we get false information when it comes to following Jesus Christ because people want to tell you they are rhetoric of what they think you need to believe. I was teaching the other day. I said, God says, so many people are following man's philosophies and rudiments and in teachings and false doctrines because they don't know the word of God for themselves. Study to show yourself to prove that God a word we need not to be ashamed. Rightly divide the word of truth. When you get in the word of God and dissect the word of God, the word speaks volumes. The word begins to speak to you from the inside of your heart to show you what God wants you to see in your life and a revelation to think in your thought life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
We need to stop compromising. Stop mingling with people who don't serve Jesus. Because they only there as an assignment and an agent from the enemy to turn you from your faith. But when you've been born again and washed in the blood again, there's no reason to argue with the word. I don't argue with nobody about the word of God. I speak what God said to speak and stand on it. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we have to grow up in every way to into him who is ahead into Christ. We got to mature. Stop being a baby or a bottle. It's time to put away the bottles, start studying the word of God, eating the meat of the word, that you can grow thereby in your faith in Jesus Christ, knowing with confidence that I'm anchored in Jesus to not be moved. Glory to God. My last scripture. But in our hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy. Always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. You got to have an answer for people who question you about your faith. Why are you so happy, Prophet April? Why are you so full of joy, Sister Joyce? Why is your aunt always praising God the way she do? Why are you glorifying God, Sister T? Why are you doing this and doing that in the house of God? Because I got a, a connection. I have a lifeline that connects to the life lock of Jesus Christ that can't be broken. My spiritual umbilical cord been separated. So now I'm connected to the Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who was raised from the dead, who rose again from my redemption. I can glorify his name in everything I do because he's worthy of the praise. When you've been sanctified, you ought to walk in holiness. You ought to walk with your head up high to let people know that I am a child of God. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care how you look at me. I don't care how you backstab me. Keep on doing what you do. Do it well. Because I got a Savior who defends me everywhere I go. The Bible tells me that he is a shield round about those who fear him and trust in his word. When I trust in the word of God, I don't care what you do to me. You can stab me all you want to. I'm going to stand front-footed and rooted in Christ Jesus never to be moved again because I've been born again. I've been sanctified. I've been filled with the Holy Ghost and that with fire to declare the word of God. I don't care what you do to me. You're not going to alter my faith. I got faith the size of a mustard seed to speak to those devils and tell them to move out of my way. To speak to the mountains of depression. You get out of here. To speak to the mountains of sickness and disease. You get out of here. To speak to all the enemy's trouble that come my way. You get out of here. Go by my soul. Oh, I'm not holding on to you no more. You got to loose me. Loose that man. Loose that woman and let her go free. Caught the word. It said, I have what I say. If I speak on speaking doubt, doubt is what I'm going to have in my mindset. Going to control my destiny. But I speak the word of God over the spirit of doubt and even depression and tell it the word says that I got joy unspeakable and full of glory that the joy of the Lord is my strength I find my refuge I find my strength resting in the Lord Jesus Christ I find the power to overcome every obstacle I can leap over troops. I can run faster than the horses on the road. I can tell the enemy, get out of my way. I'm coming through because Jesus, Jesus is the captain of the host. 
and he has conquered all of my enemies. He has conquered every devil in my life. He has broken every stronghold that tried to hold on to me. He has set me free from the inside on the outside. And I know that I know that I know that Jesus is mine. I know that I know that Jesus is my rock of my salvation. I know that I know I've been born again because of Jesus. I know that I know my family saved because of Jesus. I know that I know no matter what comes my way, I pray the form of God to stand, to keep on standing, to stand, to keep on standing, to stand, to keep on standing. Standing with the word of God as my full armor. I'm standing in the victory. I'm standing with a sound mind. I'm standing with a heart at peace. I'm standing surrounded by the angels all day, all night. The angels keep on watching over me. I'm standing. See, when you know without a shadow of doubt, you've been born again. You got angels that fight in your battle. You got angels that are rooting you on. You got angels going to get your blessing. You got angels bringing forth your healing. You got angels prophesying over you. You got angels watching over you. Glory, 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 glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless your name. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I want to hear him say on that great getting up morning, well done my good and faithful servant I want to hear him say you've been faithful over a few things come on up and take your seat in glory I want to hear him say you deserve it I saw the struggles I saw the pain but my anointing has rescued you I want to hear him say, come on up, take your seat next to the king. I want to hear him say, come on up higher, come on up higher, come on up higher, come on up higher. No more tears, no more struggles, no more bad habits, no more strongholds. Come on up higher. On that great getting up morning. On that day. When you stand before the judgment seat of Christ. How would you stand? When you stand before the judgment seat of Christ. The beam of seat. How will you stand? Will you say, come on in or reject you? I never knew you. Depart from me. You worker of iniquity. I don't want to hear him say that. I want to see his beauty. Behold the eyes like fire. I want to see his hair like wool. I want to see his posture, feet like brass. 
I want to see him in the fullness of his glory. I want to see him with the word written on the, on the thigh, the word of God. I want to see him. And hear him say, come on home. Now is the time. You labored for the kingdom of God. So come on home. Sister Sonia God says, come on home. On that day when your time comes. Because you've been faithful. You've been faithful. And God is looking at every one of us in this room. He said, I paid the price. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him should not perish but shall have everlasting life. When you get that life, you get joy. When you get that life, you get healing. You get that life, you get deliverance. That life brings everything you're crying out for. And God says, I hear you. I know your heart. I know where you are. I know your heart posture. And I'm here with my arms wide open. I'm the mender of a broken heart. Many lost so many loved ones. They've been hurting for a long time in grief and sorrow. But he says, I'm here. When you worship me, you invite me in. If you worship me, I come sit on the throne. I'm looking for that type of person who says, come on in, God. My heart is open. My hands are lifted up. I'm ready to receive. Oh, my God. My hands are lifted up. My heart is ready to receive a blessing from you. A blessing from you. Won't you stand over the room? My heart is ready to receive a blessing from you. A blessing from you. Yes, God. My hands are lifted up. My heart is ready to receive a blessing from you. A blessing from you. Shake me, make me, mold me, use me. Blessing from you. Shake me, make me, mold me, use me, a blessing from you. Mm. My heart is ready to receive a blessing from you. Lord, here we are. We're asking God that you shake us. You make us. You mold us and you use us for your kingdom. That we receive the blessing from you, God, and become a reservoir of blessings to bless someone else. That you would be exalted and magnified. We thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Blessing from you. My hands are lifted up. My heart is ready to receive 
a blessing from you. Lord, we need it. We need your blessing, God. A blessing from you. Pour it in, God. Pour it in. Pour it in. A blessing from you. Let it rain on us, God. Yeah. A blessing from you. Yes, God. My hands are lifted up. My heart is ready to receive. A blessing from you, Lord. A blessing from you. Amen. Amen. Matthew, you will repeat me out. Repeat after me, everyone in this room. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for loving me in spite of my mess. I ask you, Lord God, to forgive me for all my sins. Come into my heart and renew me, restore me, and revive me to make me a vessel that surrenders to you, that yields to you, and release every care into your hands and be my Lord and Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Make me, shake me, mold me, use me. 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 Make me, shake me. Mold me, use me. Yes, God. A blessing from you. A blessing from you. Amen. A blessing from you. Amen. We're going to open the door of the church. Open the door of the church. Does anyone here desire to become a member who's not a member of the church today? Extend an opportunity for you to come join the church. Amen. Amen. I pray everybody is born again. Everybody know you're born again. You have no doubt about it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, we're getting out a little early today. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Get your sister. You want to close us in prayer today? A blessing from you. A blessing from you. Amen. Amen. Father, we just come now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for the word that it went forth. We yes, thank God. you for yes, everything God. that everyone received. But we come now in the name of Jesus, thanking you, God, for touching and healing and delivering and setting each of us free on this day and this time and the time such as now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. <laughs>